Hey guys, it's five o'clock on a Wednesday, which means it's time for... Magic Review. Craig and Ryland's Magic Review. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. And if you've never seen the show before, we look at the latest items in magic. We look at the latest tricks, the latest books, plus some older classics. And every single thing we, uh, we review, we perform, don't we? Yeah. And he's performing a couple of tricks this week. I'm performing a couple of tricks this week. And the first thing we're going to do is perform a trick out of this book, Game Changer, by Jason Ladania. I think that's his name, Jason Ladania. And it's published by Vanishing Inc. Extraordinary card magic from Jason Ladania. We've been reading this, haven't we? And there are some exceptional card routines in here, aren't they? I'm going to perform a routine, and then I want you and me to talk about the book, all right? Yeah. And I'm going to perform a routine on you. So... Can we bring the camera a little bit closer for me, please? That'd be great. Right, we have a deck of 52 playing cards. They're all there, they're all different. Is that fair? Is that fair? You happy? Yeah. Good stuff. Now, right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a chance to win £20. Would you like to win £20? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you a chance genuinely now to win £20. But first of all, I need two cards taken out of the deck. One for you, one for me. So I'm going to go through. You can start with one for me. Which card would you like me to have? Just touch one. That one there. Now, uh, Ryland, in the interest of fairness, are you happy with that card or would you like to change your mind? I'm happy with the deck. I get the three of hearts. Okay? You take the pen and I want you to write dad on the three of hearts for me. Uh, there we go. Let me just hold it like that. I want you to write dad. Um, don't... That, that would be a B, Ryland. <laughs> Am I bad? Am I a bad dad? <laughs> no, Dad's Buzzy B. Dad Buzzy B. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> D A D. Cool. And you can put the lid on the pen. Did you just try to take the lid <laughs> off the pen when the lid was there on the table? You really are a gigantic muppet, aren't you? All right, okay. So we have a, uh, we have a three of hearts. That's going to be my card, okay? Now, you're going to get a card as well. Um... And again, you can have any card that you want to. I'm completely indifferent to the choice you're about to make. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to spread through the uh, the cards. And again, I want you to touch a card for yourself right now. So as I go through, just touch a card. That one there, are you sure? Yeah. And again, if you want to change your mind, you can. Are you happy with that card? Yeah, I'm happy with that. If you're happy, I'm happy. Let's have a look. The two of spades. Can you take the pen? And you just write your name there on the two of spades. Just put Rye. I didn't realise it was so hard to take a lid off a pen. Right. It's good to see that you spelled your name right, buddy. <coughs> but. <laughs> what we go with this? Ryland, Roy, the banana boy. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> whatever. You're just so weird. You're just so weird. Okay, so would you, how much Lego could you uh, could you get for twenty pounds? You could get quite a bit of Lego. Thousand. You? you could get a lot. Of, actually, it's Lego. You can't get that much at all. But there you go. Right. This is what we're going to do. Um. We have two cards, one with your name on it, one with my name on it. One's your card, one's my card. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to put the cards back into the pack. And then we're going to turn the deck face up and deal them onto the table one at a time. Yeah. If your card hits the table first, you get £20. Yay! If my card hits the table first, I don't have to give you £20. Okay, so there's nothing for you to lose on this. All right? Now, I'm not going to let you know which one of these cards is yours and which one's mine. So I'm going to mix them up so you don't know. Have you been following them? Mm, yeah. No, you... There we go. It's on, um, it's on the bottom. I'm not going to tell you. Now, here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, you get to choose where we put each card back. So, I'm going to spread them through. Just where do you want the first card back? Just touch a place. You want it there. And which card do you want to put back there? Mm, that one. Are you sure? Yeah. And do you want the next one higher or lower? Lower. Okay, hang on. I'll do it. I'll do it. Where do you want it? Yeah. There. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, right there. Happy? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. I really wish you hadn't done that. <laughs> right. uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, I, I do have to give the cards a cut. I do have to give the cards a cut. And I have to give the cards one shuffle, okay? That's that's just part of the rules here. Okay, there we go. That's good. I think that should, that should do it. Right, okay. So I'm going to turn the cards face up. If your card hits the table first, you get £20. Okay? Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. We're looking for your card or my card. Tell me if you see your card or my card. Not yet. Let's have a look again. If your card or my card hits the table first. Yeah, that's that's just another card. I'm using a deck. That's just another card. Right, let's have a look. If your card... Yay! What? Um, does that count as my card? Because it's got Craig on it. No? Okay. Um, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, I forgot to tell you about one other rule. I'm going to deal some more cards there. And if my card appears in that row, then it's a tie and I don't have to give you the money. Um... Uh, 
Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> this is this, the, the book says that there's no way I can lose. Um, I said that if your card hit the table first, you'd win twenty pounds, right? Yeah, you lose. Hang on, the table. I've got an idea. Yeah, you lose. Table. You lose. No, no, you lose. Yeah. I said if your card hit the table first, your card didn't hit the table first. Look. Yeah, look, look at it. Turn it over. Yeah. Yeah, turn it over. Look at it. Because on the other side is my card. No, that does not count. Does Give it, it here. <laughs> my card is on the other side. I have fused the cards together. And when the card was dealt down, my card hit the table first, which means I win. I keep the £20, but you get to keep that as a magical souvenir. However, put it over there because I know what you'll think. You'll be like, you'll fiddle with it the entire time. So, come back over here. Right, so that's one of the routines out the Game Changer. I really like that one. Um, you had a particular routine that you liked, didn't you? Yeah. It was called Nick of Time, I think it was. Do you want to tell everyone what it was about? Yeah, I'll find it in the book. There's four aces, and we get to pick pick an ace, and we picked an ace. Mm -hmm. No, you picked a card. Everybody picked four cards. Yeah, everybody picked four cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then... I, I told you I had to find the four cards yeah, in a minute. Yeah, we put them in the deck, and then you found them in 59 seconds. And then changed them into aces. Yeah. The plot was really cool. And that's the, that's the routine. Now, you can see here, look at the amazing photos in this book. This, this book is published by Vanishing Ink. The quality, I mean, come on, how easy is it to learn from this? Look at these instructions. Look at it. It's great. If you are into card magic, this book is one of the best card magic books I've seen. Never heard of Jason Ladania before, but apparently he's wrote another book, and that's that's one that I want to read as well. It's brilliant. Now, he does use the colour an awful lot. He does use uh, a few moves that people might find challenging, but then there's other routines in there that are really, really easy. Um... Also, he does use the pinky count. Now, if you don't do the pinky count, you can substitute it with other moves. But the first thing he explains in the book is how to do the pinky count properly. Um, it's a great book. It really is. I will say the second half of the book wasn't as enjoyable for me as the first half because there were all gambling routines in there. And I'm not really a big fan of gambling routines. It's not something I'm personally into. But the magic stuff in the first half was brilliant. And a lot of the plots like you just saw me do with right. oh, I bet you, and his, his thinking behind this is, if I bet you £20, you're going to be more invested in a magic trick yeah. than if I just go, hey, you want to see a magic trick? And he's right, he's right, and it's a great book. I'm going to give this, I know you've looked at three or four of the routines in here. Um, I've looked at several. I'm going to, okay, you go first, what are you going to give it? 100. 100. Jason, if he gives 100% to something, it means he absolutely loves it. I'm going to give it 95%. If you're looking for a good book to read that you can't put down, this is a nice, big, thick, meaty book that you can't put down that's just got some exceptional card routines in there I've that are super that commercial. I know, I'm just like constantly looking at it everywhere. Mommy keeps finding it around the house and getting annoyed with me, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, and it's all, by the way, one more thing about the routines in this book, they're super practical. A lot of them don't even need a table. You can just do them walk around. And he talks about- Don't need close up mat. You don't even need a close up mat, no. You don't even need a table with half of them. It's brilliant. Um, yeah, 100% from him, 95% from me. Uh, it's a really good book, highly recommended. Right, on to review number two, and this is one of your favourite tricks that you've ever seen, isn't it? Yeah. He's got his deck in his hand. Do you want to perform it? Yeah. Okay, show me the trick, right? Let's I've do it. I've done something special to one of these cards. Tell them, not me. Yeah, look. I put a hole in the ten of clubs. Oh, yeah, I can see that, yeah. Yeah. You want to examine this? Yeah, examine it. Guys, I want you to have a look here. You can see that there's a hole right here, four holes in the four corners of the ten of clubs. I'm cool with that, right? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Can you press me? Yeah. Now, you're... Okay, I'm just going to put it onto the table. Okay. Okay. Actually, can we bring the camera a bit further forward? I know what this routine is, and it'd be better if uh, it's, it's really close up. Carry on, Ryan. Okay, so your card is the only card with holes in, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only yeah the only hole with holes, yeah. Okay, then. Look, I'm going to take the four holes off the cards. You're going to take the four holes off the card? Yeah. Look, and I'm going to put them up there. Okay. Look. Thanks. Guys, check that out. Hold it vertical so they can see. Look at that. <laughs> Do it again. <clears throat> I love the effort that you put in to move <laughs> these holes around. <laughs> Last one. 
in the end. Whoa. <laughs> Hold it to them so they can see it. <laughs> Carry on. But if I just shake, they go back to where they started. That's cool. <laughs> now, I'm not supposed to repeat the trick, but I am. Tell them, not me. I'm going to repeat the trick, but in a different way. I'm not going to like pull it off and then put it back up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off all at the same time. Like this. And then now I'm going to fold it back on. That is awesome. <laughs> now, I just shake. And they all go back. Yeah. Boom. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It is a great trick, isn't it? Yeah. Great trick. That's great. That's brilliant. And then yes, obviously at the end there's a clean up and you can examine the uh, you can examine the card. Yeah. How did that look? Did that look cool? This is this is just a really super awesome visual trick. You've only just started doing this a couple of days ago, haven't you? Yeah. So it's something you've been practicing recently. I learned recently. it two days ago. You learned it two days ago. What do you think of it? I think you're very good. It is the most. Uh, the, look, uh, I, yeah, I did it on my YouTube channel. I buffed it. Yeah, you did. The um, yeah, the the uh, the, the gimmick that's supplied with this is just insane. It's the most gimmicked card I've ever seen. Once you've switched the gimmicked card in. Everything that you saw Ryland do is actually really easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a case of just pulling levers on this specially made card. Just don't don't break this string. Yeah, but, yeah, well, yeah, it's very, it's, we've been using it an awful lot. I've done it on my YouTube fragile. channel, you've done it on your YouTube channel. It's very fragile. Well, it's not this fragile. I don't want to give people the impression that they're going to buy the trick and it's going to fall apart. We've been using it an awful lot and it's not falling apart. But what I said to you is you need to be careful with it because it's not a cheap gimmick. And you need to be really careful with him because I don't want you to break it, is what he means. But it hasn't broken at all, has it? I mean, I think, to be honest, the gimmick is designed to last for a very, very long time. Um, thousand years. Something like that. You saw Ryland switch the gimmick in at the beginning. You saw him switch it out at the end. There's a handling where they can take a card and you can punch the holes into the card yourself. I don't think that's necessary, to be perfectly honest. I like the concept of just taking a card out that's already got pre-punched holes and then going into moving them around on the uh, on the on the card i think that's the best way to do it i had the original version of this many many years ago and this is a billion times better i love the second phase where you just pull them off one at a time and just throw them on and then they go back uh, you know it's just exceptional it's really really good it's great for social media i mean that's why you've done it on your youtube channel i've done it on my youtube channel it's also great for um okay, yeah, the only thing they need to be considerate about is the angles. People can't, you can't do this with people watching from behind, can you? No. If you were doing this, uh, it, let's say you had a big table, of, and you also don't want to do it in like a stage show or a parlour show, because people couldn't see the holes moving around if they were from a distance, would they? If you Imagine if somebody was doing this on stage and people were, they couldn't see a, a thing, could they? It'd be impossible to see. Uh, but likewise, if you're doing walk around, you want to be very careful because people who are looking for the signs, they yeah, kind yeah, of like, see how it there's, works. There's, there's like two tables and you can have one there and there and you just perform it in there. And if people yeah. here are looking what you're doing from behind and they can see how it works. The big tables would work really, really well. Also, uh, walk around would work well as long as you're aware of your angles and you take a step back. Once, once you're actually performing it, as long as people are in sort of a 180 degree angle, they can be as close as they want to. You could be as close to this card as you want and they won't be able to see a thing. And it is so magical. It is so magical. It's an absolutely amazing piece of kit. It really is. And you get it out of the box. You can do it straight away. They come in red bikes or blue bikes. It's it's just really good. I really like this. I want both. I want red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, save up your money then, mate. Um, what would you give it? What would you give it? 100. You know what? I, I was debating what to give it. I knew he'd give it 100 because he absolutely loves it. And I was thinking, how often am I going to actually use this? I've done it on YouTube, I've done it on TikTok. How many times am I going to do this? And then I kind of thought, it's great that, you know what? I can have it in my pocket. And when I find the right time, the right place, I can just take it out of my pocket, add it to the deck, do it and take it back out afterwards. And I think for the brides, brides and grooms on the head table, this would be perfect. That special guest, this would be perfect. And they will be absolutely blown away. Um, I'm going to give it like 85%. I think I'm going to do it, but I don't know how often I'm going to do it. But I, I'm definitely going to do it. And it is very easy to do. What percent? So 85%. So you give it 100, I'm giving it 85. Another great trick, uh, Matrix Art. Go and pick it up. It's really good. 
Right, we're now looking at review number three, and this is a brand new item just come out. This is called Manifest. Uh, in fact, I've got the box here, Manifest by uh, Danny Weiser. Now, we looked at a Danny Weiser trick the other week, didn't you? The Weiser wallet, and yeah. you absolutely loved the Weiser wallet, didn't you? Yeah. In fact, you said you want to do it for your YouTube channel. You can tell if he really likes something he wants to do it on his YouTube channel. Um, so we looked at that. This is another item by Danny Weiser. This is called Manifest. Uh, shall I perform it? Yeah. Should we do it? Okay, let's perform it. Um, I've got a few things on the table in front of me. I have a notepad. Uh, the notepad is very simple. Uh, the reason for the notepad is in a minute, Ryan. I'm going to read your mind. Very exciting times, I know. Mind reading, not just magician, mind reading as well. I also have a luggage tag. Right, you, um, these are, you put these when you go to airports and you put these on um, uh, suitcases so that your luggage gets to where you need it to get. Because can you imagine going on holiday and you didn't have any of your stuff? That would be terrible, wouldn't it? So you have to, you have these luggage tags so that you can do that. Uh, I'm gonna put that right there. And I want you to keep an eye on that the whole time, make sure I don't cheat. Now we also need a pack of playing cards. I have a deck of playing cards. They are 52 cards there and they're all different, right? Happy? I'm gonna do this completely hands off, right? I want you to pick the cards up yourself. You can do this yourself. Pick up the cards like you're about to deal them. Pick up the cards, very good. Hold them in your hands. Now what I want you to do, right? cut off about 10 or 15 cards, a small packet of cards, and then turn them face up, okay? And then what I want you to do now is square everything up and then cut deeper, cut more cards than you cut to before, turn them face up, put them back on top of the packs. So you cut in two random places, is that fair? Yeah. Now spread through for the first face down card and put it on the table, okay? Then put the rest of the cards back together and just shove them in my pocket so that I can't... Uh... No, no, no. There we go. And then look at that card. Don't show me. You can show the camera. Do not show me. It's important I do not see it. And when you've done that, put that in the, in the pocket with the rest of the cards and tell me when I can turn back around. Put it in the middle. So you see you've got all the cards there. Put it somewhere in the middle. And tell me when you're done and I'll turn back around. Done. Done. Okay, I'm going to read your mind, but I'm going to do it in a really weird way, right? Um... Normally when people read their minds, they ask you to think of the card and they'll, they'll try and tell you what the name of the card is. I'm going to ask you, I, I know there's no point in me explaining psychology to a seven-year-old, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you some really random questions. They're going to appear random, but the answers that you give me to these questions are going to tell me what the card is. The first question is going to tell me what the colour of your card is. So, um, hang on, don't tell me the colour. I'm going to ask you a very random question. I want to imagine that you're going on holiday with me and Mommy and Thea. Okay, yeah. I want you to imagine you're going on holiday and we've got one of these luggage tags on our, on our, on our, um, on our, on our suitcase and you're going on holiday, right? Mm -hmm. and, but, but we've all had to change our names when we go on holiday. So you're no longer called Ryland anymore. What is your new first name? Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. That tells me what the colour of your card is. Hang on a minute, let me just uh, turn this around this way. This tells me what the colour of your card is. Let me just... Right, I think I've got the colour. Next, we're going to go for the suit of the card. I'm going to ask you another random question, but this is going to help me do what I need to do. Where are we going on holiday? Where are we going on holiday? Charlie's going on holiday. Charlie, a.k.a. Ryland, is going on holiday. Where's he going? Anywhere in the world. Australia. Sure? Yeah. You really want to go to Australia, don't you? Yeah. Okay, that tells me the suit of your card. I've got it. 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 I've nailed it. Now, final thing. When you go on holiday, you're given a flight number. That's the number you have to look at on the screen to find your airplane. It's normally a four-digit number. Give me a four-digit flight number. Uh, that This will tell me the value. 8778. 8778? Seven, seven, eight. Yeah. 8778. Seven, eight. Okay, that, that tells me the value. You can keep the value. Right, here's the thing. Actually, no, you can't because that's my pen. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Give me my pen back. Here's the thing, right? Be honest with me. Did I at any point ask you what your card was? No. Did I at any point ask you what the value of your card was? No. Or the suit of your card? No. Okay. Here's what I want you to do, right? Can you do me a favour? Can, um, can you hold your finger out like that for me, if that's okay? I just want you to hold on to that for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it there. I'm going to show you what I wrote. So here we go. First of all, I asked you 
to tell me, you know, just put that down there and it's going to get irritating. Keep it on your finger, but put it there. Keep it on your finger, but put it there. First thing I'm ask, I asked you is what your fake name was. And you said it was Charlie, right? Yeah. That told me the suit of your card. That told me the, uh, the picture, the, the colour of your card. What was the colour of your card? The black. Black. And I wrote down black. See, they're black. The second question was where we were going. And you said Australia. And that told me the suit of your card. You see, underneath black, I wrote clubs. Was that your, was it clubs? Yeah. And then finally, I asked the number, and you said something like 8778 or something like that. That told me the, the, the actual value of your card. What was the value of your card? The ace. Uh, and look at what I wrote right there at the bottom. Ace. Yeah. Guys, I wrote black, clubs, and ace. Now, I know you're thinking, that's pretty good, right? I was able to ask you really random questions, and using that random information, I was able to work out what your card was. But here's the thing, Ryland. This luggage tag, we put this here from the very beginning, didn't we? Yeah. And for most of the trick, you've had your finger inside it like this. And you gave me a load of answers to these random questions I was asking you. But I knew not only what your card was, I knew that you were going to tell me that your name was Charlie. I knew that you would tell me that you were going to Australia. And I knew that you would tell me that the flight number was 8778. What? Because I never actually opened this luggage tag to show you inside. But if I do open up the luggage tag and I do show you what's inside, you can see that I wrote on there, name Charlie, destination number 8778, going to Australia. You can see right there, I'll show it to the camera, and it is there, sealed inside the luggage tag. And that information has been there from the very, very beginning. And this is called... Manifest. Now, let me ask you a question, Ryan, and what do you think of this? I think it's very good. Uh, here, here, you know what? I showed you this, and, and you were immediately fooled, weren't you? I watched the download to this. And again, just like the Wise Wallet, it's Paul Rohamani, who I've got a lot of respect for, uh, who, um, who, who does the explanations for this. And he goes into great detail. Obviously, there's nobody more knowledgeable about this type of effect than, than Paul. And I, I watched the whole download and I performed it for you. And you were mega fooled, weren't you? You were like, I have no idea. How badly were you fooled? Tell them. Uh, really badly. He had no idea but how it worked. then mummy told me. <laughs> mummy told you how it worked, yeah. Um, here's the thing. I I'll be honest with you. I really like this now. When I first watched the download, I was a little bit disappointed, and I'll tell you for why. There were a couple of things that I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like the fact that you had to do. You had to do some double writing, um, which. I really kind of didn't like in the context of this routine because the gimmick that you have to use to do this is quite big and it made the double writing very, very difficult to do. Um, and there were a couple of times when Paul was explaining how this was done and it was kind of like, well, I, I, I don't think that would work as well as I want it to work in every condition. Uh, and I also didn't like the, the steel of the gimmick at the end. I didn't like the steel. I didn't think it was very motivated. Um, and I was like, oh, I just don't think I'm going to use this. And I sat down and I played with it for a couple of hours and I came up with the presentation that I just showed you guys right now, uh, which is, um, and, and this isn't explained on the download, but feel free, this is how I'm going to do it. Feel free to use this if you want to, which is this, this becomes kind of like a kicker. Uh, normally when you do manifest, it's all about this. So it's like, hey, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to ask you a few questions. And it was predicted. This is just put down and forgotten about at the very, very beginning. And then you're using this information that you're asking to work out the identity of a playing card. And you, are, you work out the identity of the playing card. They think that's the end of the trick. And then the kicker is that you've actually predicted this information already beforehand. And it allowed me to, to completely eliminate the double writing. It also allows me to show this very, very cleanly at the beginning. And then in, in terms of actually uh, using the gimmick, and I don't want to say too much about this, but asking the spectator to hold their finger out gives you a natural motivated action because you're holding this here, you're holding this here, and it's kind of like, can you, can you hold your finger out? Just like that, brilliant. And in that action, you've kind of done what you need to do. And that, that, that motivates it for me. I've got to put it in the other hand for them to hold their finger out, which is why I like this on there. Um, so I really like this. I can see myself doing this. I think this would work for a small stage show. I think it'd work for a big stage show. I think it'd work for close up. It's not really a walk around piece. It doesn't really take up too much pocket space though. I mean, if you think about it, right, you just put this in one pocket, this goes into the same pocket, 
and, and to do what I did, you don't need a deck of cards in any of the routines that's on the download, but if you're gonna do the way that I did it, you just have a deck of cards around with you, which I'm, you're gonna have anyway. So it takes up one pocket, but it is very, very strong. Um, the reset takes seconds. You literally, five seconds, and you reset it, ready to go again. And it's a very powerful moment. I, I really like it. You were fooled by it. Um, what would you give it? 100. You're, you're like Danny Wise's biggest supporter now, aren't you? You absolutely love his stuff. Uh, you know what? I, again, I, I said, if, if, if I think I'm going to use something, it has to get over 80%. I honestly think I can see myself using this. Probably big tables, I think I can see myself using this. Uh, stage maybe, parlor shows, smaller parlor shows. I don't think I'd do it in a big show, uh, but you could do. Um, I'm going to give it 88%. I think it's really good. Um, and, it's, and the prop, by the way, the quality of this is second to none. The download instructions are second to none. This thing will last you a lifetime. It's, uh, it's leather, I think. Uh, you know, I think it might be leather. Yeah, it's that, uh, it reminds me of that old Terry Seabrook joke. Cowhide, but it didn't. You didn't get that at all, did you? Yeah. No. Terry Seabrook. Have you ever heard of Terry Seabrook? Yeah. Right, when we finish this review show, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to sit down and we're going to watch some Terry Seabrook videos. No. Nah. No, dude, he's amazing. He's dead now, but he's amazing. He's amazing. Amazing magician. Anyway, uh, we're going to give this 88% uh, from me, 100% from him. It's really good. Let's move on to the next review. Right, final review. Yeah. And uh, this is one that you have been doing an awful lot, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, it's called Unorthodox or Unothodox uh, by Antonio Martinez, uh, created and distributed by one of the greatest magic shops in the world, Alakazam Magic. What's you that? need to you need to go there, dude. We need to take you to Where Kent one day. It's in Kent. It's a long way away. About five miles. For for a four and a half hours drive. Oh my god! Can we get an airplane over there? No, we can't get an airplane. But one day I'll take you there, and they're all really friendly, and you get to meet Peter and Dave and everyone else, Andy and all those guys, and Harry and so on and so forth. Anyway, this isn't about Alakazam. This is about you performing a trick. You're going to perform it. Yeah. Right, go for it. Daddy. Yes, right. Um, have you me. got a lucky card? Have I got a lucky card? Yes, I have, dude. I have a lucky card. What is it? You know what it is. It's the Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use a lucky card. I've got I've got a pack of cards here. An uh, invisible one. Oh, it's an invisible pack of cards. Yeah. Of course it is. I'll right. take the odds or the evens out. Okay. I'll take the odds. Throw them away. Gone. Now, take pick a card out of the evens. Any card? Yeah. That one. What card is it? Six of diamonds. I'll just throw these ones away. Yeah. I hope you're going to clean those up later. Yeah. Good. Okay. We'll slip over them. <laughs> what do I do with the six of diamonds? Can I keep it? Yeah. Keep it pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> that, that's going to be your lucky card for now. But after the trick, you can change it back to the eight of diamonds. Okay. Yeah? Get on with okay. it. Okay. Now I've got a pack of cards. Yep. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you a card trick, yeah? Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh God, my sister's messed with my hand. Hang on, can we get the camera a bit closer to this, please? Because I think I think you want to you want to pick this up on camera. Hang on a second. Look at his, his annoyed face. It's got his annoyed face. What's happened? My sister's mixed Uno cards into a blue pack of cards. She is a nightmare. Your sister is a nightmare. Nightmare. She's a nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, she's an absolute nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, get on with it. Now, so you said you got a six of diamonds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But what are you going to do? Because it's all on your cards. Well, let, let's look through them, see what cards there is. Okay, go on then. Hmm. Look. Ooh, wait, what? How is she left one card in here? Wait, did that make sense? No, there's one normal card in there. The one normal card. How does that make sense? What is that? Look at the card. <laughs> hey, your sister can do magic. Maybe. She's better at magic than you. No, she's not. <laughs> How did she do that? <laughs> that's such a cool trick. Um, brilliant. That's, 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 that's unorthodox. What do you think of that, Rye? Give them a review. You, you lead this one, dude. 2,000. 2,000%. <laughs> no, I don't just want a number. Tell me what you think of this trick, why you like I it. I love it, I love it. I know you love it. Tell them, not me. Stop looking at me. Because my sister uh, missed my cards up. Okay, okay, okay. We know that's the presentation and she didn't really. Why do you like the trick? Um, because it's very good. What's good about it? 
<laughs> it's just like it. Is it better than a normal card trick? Yeah. Is it better finding like one normal card in the middle of a whole bunch of Uno cards? Yeah. Why is that better? Uh, because you're not like getting a pack of cards, you're just spreading through and one card's face up and you find it, and you found it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it's more interesting? Yeah, more interesting. I, I like this as well. Obviously, the similarities between this and the invisible deck. Uh, I prefer this. Uh, I really, really do. I think this is such an amazing prop. I think it's better than the invisible deck, and I think the reason it is, first of all, it's easier to handle. Um, the, the, the download was done by uh, Dave Lucy and Peter Nardi, and you know when you see those two on camera together that the explanation is gonna be brilliant. When I watched the explanation, they'd already added some bonus footage to the explanation uh, with Peter going through a kind of a more of a mentalism style presentation for it. Uh, I just like how fun it is. You know, it's kind of like, I love that moment where it's like, okay, that's the card that you want. No problem. Okay, let me just uh, let me just take the card. Oh no! What's happened here? And you know, you talk about your sister messing your cards up, which is funny. What did I talk about? Well, I, if I when I start doing this, when we're allowed to start doing magic again, I think I'll just say, "Hey, you know, my son and my son and my daughter have obviously messed up my cards no, because you, my daughter, my daughter has been messing up my cards." Um, but I, I like that premise. I think it's a really interesting premise. I love the idea of having an Uno deck, uh, and and there's one card in there. It's an instant reset. You can do it again straight away. Mm -hmm. It's very very easy to do. It handles better than invisible deck it's a very commercial trick if you're a commercial close-up worker this is a great trick to do and the other thing is you can do it without even needing the spectators to touch the deck um, which is really important I think at the moment you know with social distancing and everything you can do this whole routine without even needing someone to touch the deck of cards and I do think it's a lot more interesting you know we do so many card tricks if you can take a classic of magic like the invisible deck and, and, and do it differently, people will remember this a lot more. Having one card printed in a Nudo deck, people remember that a lot more than, um, uh, than, than the invisible deck, in my opinion. I love it. Um, you love it as well. We've got two of them, haven't you? Yeah. You've got one and I've got one. Yeah, mine up our house. We're using yours. We're using mine today. His is me. How many times have you done this trick already? Like, Five. Hey, you haven't done it on your YouTube channel yet. You're going to have to do it on your YouTube channel. Ooh, ooh, this is so good. Ooh, ooh, what are you going to give it? What are you going to give it? 100. Of course you are. Um, I'm going to give this, uh, it, it's not 100 for me, but it's damn close. I'm going to give this 97%. I think this is brilliant. Give I think this is No, I think this is a real working routine that if you're a worker and you want a routine that really hammers home hard, um, this is a great routine to do. Um, very, very strong. Love it. I'd recommend it to everybody. Right, that's it. That's another review show in the bag. I think we're getting good at this now. What do you reckon? Number nine. Tomorrow, next week, is number... Ten. We're going to be in double figures next yeah, week. Yeah, Boom. Yeah, yeah. What are we going to do when you go back to school? You can still be able to... You'll just have to do it in the... You're going to have to rehearse in the evenings, and then we'll just have to do it on the weekend. Boom. You can still manage it, can't you? Of course you can. Can't do this without you, man. Uh, okay, so make sure you subscribe to the Slightly Unusual YouTube channel. Uh, we put videos up every single day. We put a video up and we also put the review show up every Wednesday. And we also put my vlogs up as well. So if you're interested in hearing what I've got to say and you're interested in watching magic, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to see more from him, and I can't imagine why you would because he's annoying, but if you do want to see more from Ryland, then you, he has his own YouTube channel as well, The Kid Magician. He's up to about 150 subscribers no, now. 2,000. No, 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 that's the slightly unusual YouTube channel, mate. Um, maybe one day. Um, so, yeah, follow him on uh, The Kid Magician uh, on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, follow me on Slightly Unusual, and we'll be back next Wednesday at 5 o'clock with another review show. I'm Craig. I'm Alan. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye.